We have inherited a beautiful planet from our ancestors, people we can no longer hear. And we are about to pass it on to our descendants, people we cannot yet see. Our job is to leave this amazing planet in better shape than when we got it. Jonas Salk, the greatest vaccine inventor of all time, in 1955 discovered the cure for polio after years of intensive and frustrating work. Yet, he never sought a patent. He gave it all away. His aim was not money, not fame, not wealth, but to be a good ancestor, leaving a positive legacy for the billions of people not yet born. So, how can we become good ancestors? That's our question. The world is caught in endemic short-termism, convulsed by the tyranny of now. We are living longer, but thinking shorter. We have colonized the future, grabbing its resources, its wealth, and hoarding it for now. Is this the behavior of a benign, generous ancestor? But humans are capable of long-term planning. Consider cathedrals built by people who knew they'd never see them completed, working collectively, selflessly, for future generations. They were passing on. Likewise, the people who built the pyramids in Egypt and Yucatan are the Great Wall of China. These were long-term planners. Imagine long-term thinking replacing short-term thinking, where we develop a legacy mindset. One where we become planners, not just users, cultivators, not just harvesters, seeding trees that we will never see grow. Right now, Mother Earth is in danger. The irresistible force of 8 billion consumers is smashing into the immovable object of the planet's finite resources. Yet, she's incredibly forgiving. She's renewing herself, giving us all a chance to change our behavior. But this can only go on so long. Global warming, rising sea levels, polluted rivers, parched lands, blackened skies, and global pandemics. I mean, we all have a fair idea where this story ends. But there is an alternative. It's legacy thinking. And the farmer, the traditional steward of our planet, its animals, its land, forests and rivers, can be its savior. So, with just one planet to share, we're all in this together. Conservationists and consumers, farmers and activists, industry and government, man and mother nature. And the goal is the three H's. Healthy people, healthy society, and a healthy planet. So how do we get there? <laughs>